coming up on UIW TV. Find out how UIW ranked in the US News and World Report. See how campus engagement surprised the students returning to campus. And take a look at how a UIW grad student is using his podcast to engage with the UIW community. All this and more next on UIW TV. Welcome back to UIW TV. It's the start of a new semester. I'm Joy Bergen. And I'm Abigail Velez. We hope that everyone had a safe winter break. Although we may have had a rocky start to the semester, we're excited to be back to bring you more of the latest news floating around the community. Let's begin. The Broadcast Education Association recently awarded UIW TV first place in the Dr. Marjorie Yamber Signature Station competition. This award recognizes the best of the best student-run, faculty-advised college radio and television stations in the nation. We are so proud to be part of such an accomplished team, and we're so thankful for our viewers who have supported us along the way. UIW TV is just one part of our strong and accomplished UIW community. The UIW Rosenberg School of Optometry is paving the way in scientific discovery. The school just announced the publication of a groundbreaking study that found special in chroma glasses enhanced color vision for those with the most common forms of blindness. The immediate results persisted even after subjects stopped wearing the glasses. The results spell out new possible treatments for hereditary color blindness, which affects 8% of men and 0.5% of all women. Last month, U.S. News and World Report issued its annual Best of list. UIW ranked number 87 on the list of Best Bachelor's Online Degrees and ranked number 51 on the list of Best Online Bachelor's for Veterans. Again, it's the instructors are at the forefront of this and uh, they provide good teaching. And then as the university administrators, our responsibility is just to provide the resources for them to do what they do, good teaching. The instructor's great teaching during online classes is what got UIW its recognition. UIW is ranked the highest among San Antonio institutions on the list. For more information, visit UIW.edu. It's no doubt our professors worked very hard to provide us a strong education online, but I'm happy to be back in person. Lecture classes started back on campus January 31st. Students are still advised to wear a mask indoors, but according to UIW's COVID policy, in-person, unvaccinated students and faculty no longer have to receive weekly COVID-19 tests. However, those resources are still offered by the university's health services. If you're feeling ill and you want to get evaluated, you can always go to health services and you can get tested there as well as evaluated. If a student or employee tests positive for COVID, they should notify UIW by filling out UIW's illness report form. Abigail, what do you, what do you prefer, being in person or online? I'll be the first to admit that I love the leisure of virtual learning, but I think I'm appreciating the social aspects of being back in person. I have to agree. I don't know. I, I'm pretty excited to maybe be returning to a little bit of normalcy, maybe. But being in person does come with its own set of problems. An increase of bicycle thefts on campus has the UIW Police Department asking the community for help. One suspect was caught on surveillance video stealing a bike from Avoca back in January. That footage has not been released, but campus police are asking any suspicious behavior be reported to their department. They remind students never to leave their bike unattended without properly securing it and not to park in dark or secluded areas. UIWPD can be reached at 210-829-6030. It's been a year since the winter storm of February 2021 and winter's not over yet. The possibility of repeating another storm is not very high, but staying safe during the cold weather goes beyond keeping ourselves warm. There are three simple steps you can do during these conditions. So you will hear the broadcast meteorologists on TV talk about the three P's. Protect the pets, protect the plants, and protect the pipes. Dr. Springer says that pets have similar senses to ours, so like us, they need protection from the cold. 
Certain outdoor plants need to be brought indoors and you should allow water to drip to prevent it from breaking your pipes. UIW has received an $85,000 donation from the primary care resident programs at the Laredo Medical Center. The gift comes from the Matias de Llano Charitable Trust overseen by the IBC. The trust has donated more than $8 million to organizations and schools in and around Laredo. The donation will support the expansion of the educational space at LMC and purchase computers and monitors for the growing residency programs. UIW had a few very special visitors recently. Campus Engagement partnered with San Antonio Pets Alive. Students were given the chance to cuddle and play with puppies as part of the January Jump Off Kickoff event. Having the puppies there really made my day. They were so cute, so adorable, and they boosted my serotonin levels. Campus engagement organizers continue to plan puptacular events as the semester continues. For upcoming events like this one, visit UIW Engage. I cannot believe we missed that. When did this happen? I know, I missed it too. I, I'm hoping they bring them back. Oh, this is a good reminder that we need to monitor our UIW Engage a lot better. That's true. Well, it's tax season, Cardinals, and I know taxes may not be as fun as puppies, but UIW is here to make it easier. The VITA program, UIW's Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, has returned. This program offers tax assistance to qualifying households completely free of charge. It runs every Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon through April 9th. To find out if you qualify, visit the HEBSBA page on the UIW website under the Professional Experiences tab. Enough about tax season, Cardinals. In San Antonio, it's rodeo season. It's my favorite time of the year, and we here at UIW-TV need to know what events to keep an eye out for. For our social media question of the week, we asked, what are you most excited to see at the rodeo this year? We'll check back in with your responses later in the show. Don't go anywhere just yet. We'll be right back after these messages with your entertainment news. We were at the stores the other day and we were walking around and um, we walked up to this one store that was like a plant store. Your birthday's coming up, so uh, I was thinking about looking for something for you. So I was walking around and um, I ended up seeing this one potted plant holder. I showed it to mom. She really likes it. She might steal it. But um, she said it would have been perfect for the plant that you had on the side table in your room. I really wish I could have given it to you. If that drunk driver made the right decision that night, my sister would still be with me. If you're drinking, designate a driver, call a rideshare service, or stay the night. Next time you're debating whether or not to get behind the wheel, think of Diana and her story. You are watching UIW-TV, the ward on campus. Thanks for sticking around. I'm Gabrielle Yanez, here to bring you the latest in entertainment news. If you are a UIW exchange student looking for a new place to visit or just new to the San Antonio area, consider a visit to the Tower of Americas. Standing at 750 feet, the Observation Tower is located in the Hemisphere District of downtown San Antonio. Regular admission is $14 for adults. During your visit to the top of the tower, you can enjoy a lounge restaurant that provides panoramic views of the city. 
The Tower of Americas is a wonderful place to go to, especially if you're a tourist. I love the sky view, especially at night, going up and then being up there, and also the food is amazing. So yeah. Built in 1968, the Tower of Americas is still a must-do attraction in San Antonio. You can visit thetowerofamericas.com for more information. Although the pandemic still affects our school lives, students are finding new ways to go outside and get their workouts done. Every Saturday morning, students get together at Hardburger Park for weekly morning runs. They get to explore the wonders of the outdoors and meet nature's friends while still maintaining COVID safety guidelines. It's nice to be able to get out once or twice a week in a safe environment and um, be able to just practice, you know, health, good health, good wellness. Experiences like this can be good for everyone's mental health and can help you to avoid stress. If you'd like to join in on these weekly runs, go to UIW Engage for more information. The San Antonio community can now start going out and visiting fun places like the zoo. The zoo can be a great place to observe nature and learn how animals are adjusting to a new pandemic lifestyle. Student Martin Ortega is doing just that. In quarantine, I felt like animals that were in captivity, like for instance, these rhinoceros. I felt like I couldn't get out anywhere. I couldn't get out of my home, and that I could never leave again. But then, after at least months and months of staying at home, I eventually kind of got used to it. Martin hopes to visit his favorite animals soon again. To plan your visit, you can find the San Antonio Zoo Hours at www.sazoo.org. It's the year of the tigers, UIW. San Antonio's Fuquay Vietnamese Buddhist Temple celebrated the Lunar New Year. January 31st is the eve of the Lunar New Year, concluding the 2021 Chinese calendar. The Lunar New Year sparks a 15-day celebration. Fu Kui Buddhist Temple opened its doors to celebrate with the community and offered good wishes for 2022. The Lunar New Year, just like any other regular year, it signifies new new beginnings and you know dispelling the old bad habits and creating new good habits. The celebration kicked off with the sounding of the great bell and drums, traditional dragon dance, and Buddhist prayer. To end off the night, the event concluded with a fireworks show. The temple offers weekly Sunday services in both Vietnamese and in English, in person and online. I'm so excited about this one. Author of the popular book series Bridgerton is making an appearance in San Antonio. All eight Bridgerton novels have been recognized as a New York Times bestseller. The Netflix adaptation became the streaming service's biggest series ever, breaking records the week it was released. Author Julia Quinn will be attending the San Antonio Public Library's virtual Pop Madness event on March 5th at 1 p.m. Fans can visit the library's website to attend the free live event. I will be personally checking that one out. The Blue Star Art Complex in San Antonio hosts the first moon market of 2022. The Moon Market, hosted at The Brick at Blue Star, is a space for artists, vendors, and holistic healers to come sell their products and services. People that are here are very, very happy to see their art not only appreciated, but flying off the shelves. The Moon Market events are hosted by Soil Nature Urban Pharmacy every month, with the next market set for March 20th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You can find more information on this event on bluestarartscomplex.com forward slash events. If you're a fan of podcasts, here's a new one for you. La Palabra is a recently debuted student-led podcast from the Edling Center for Civic Leadership and Sustainability. The podcast is hosted by graduate student Jorge Luis Quintero, who is no stranger to podcasts. After producing Quintero Ordinero, Quintero's personal podcast, he decided to create one aimed at the UIW community. La Palabra, which means the word in Spanish, focuses on social, environmental, and sustainability issues. It was something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. And the podcast, like another purpose of it is we want people to take action, right? Like take that action, take that leap of faith. And I feel like that's what I do with this podcast is I finally took action and I started it. Quintero says the goal is to inform the community of the resources available to them and challenge listeners to conduct their own research. He hopes to build a solid foundation for this project so it can continue after his expected graduation this May. La Palabra is currently streaming on Spotify. We 
don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. <laughs> but we do talk about this week's music hits for music in a minute. Getting right into it, We Don't Talk About Bruno from Disney's Encanto comes in at a not so shocking number one. The song reached a huge milestone, surpassing Frozen's Let It Go in streams since its release on Disney Plus. Following closely behind at number two is Do We Have a Problem by Nicki Minaj and Lil Baby. Adele's Easy On Me, which has been sitting in the top 100 for 18 weeks, now holds the number three spot. Others on the charts include Heat Waves by Glass Animals, Stay by Justin Bieber and Kid Leroy, Super Gremlin by Kodak Black, and the TikTok famous ABCDEFU by Gail. This has been Music in a Minute. Well, that's all for entertainment. Thanks for watching. We have sports coming up next, so don't go anywhere just yet. Until next time, this has been Gabrielle Yanez for UIW TV. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. At least, not to you. Looks like you got more important things to worry about anyway. No, no, man. It was just one text, though. <laughs> that was enough to screw that guy over. But it's, but it's fine, though. I didn't, I didn't even hit the guy. Oh, you thought you did, but, uh, but you did. You see that, that guy? He's, he's, he's well, you know. No, no, this is wrong. I didn't mean to hit the guy at all. At all. Please, please, I'm, so, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't... Welcome back, Cardinals. I'm Zoe De Rosario, your sports anchor, here to catch you up to speed on the latest and greatest in UIW sports. Let's jump right in. We're seeing a lot of action from our UIW teams this spring semester. Yesterday afternoon, softball fell 7-3 to the University of Wisconsin Green Bay at home after coming off a 19-6 win over the weekend versus Prairie View A&M. Men's tennis had a great weekend, winning all seven of their matches against the University of St. Thomas. Our Cardinals sure don't get tired of winning. UIW Swimming traveled to Virginia to compete in the conference championships. In just the first day of competition, our Cardinals won three medals and broke an eight-year record. Alvaro Ibarra, Jorge Cárdenas, and Sergio Duran all represented UIW in the podium. UIW also recorded a team record in the men's 200 yards relay. Day two of the meet started at 10 a.m. today. We wish our Cardinals the best of luck during the rest of the competition. Baseball season is finally among us. The team will be taking on Bradley University at Sullivan Field tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Nixon Brennan and Grant Smith will both be in action after being selected for the preseason all-conference teams. They will be playing the Braves again on Saturday and Sunday as part of a three-game series. Our baseball players and all of our UIW athletes have access to an important resource on campus, helping them elevate their performance. I had a chance to check it out. Training for UIW athletes doesn't stop after long hours on the court or the field. Five years ago, the Rosenberg School of Optometry opened the first Sports and Vision Enhancement Service Clinic on campus to help student athletes train on a very important aspect of their game. Working on their different visual skills and their different demands that they may need when they're on the field or on their court can really help them you know, perform better when they're playing their sport. But the benefits of vision training don't stop at improving an athlete's performance. It can also help reduce any the frequency and also severity of, of head injuries. Injuries in general, absolutely, but we're always really worried about our athletes suffering any kind of concussions. The optometry faculty works alongside optometry students in the clinic to ensure to meet each athlete's individual needs. Um, I've seen that the athletes, like they've improved with, like every time that they come in here, like their numbers gradually get better. These strobe glasses are one of the most popular equipment here at the clinic. They work on things like anticipation and reaction times. Strobe glasses, light boards, and light towers are all examples of innovative equipment available at the clinic. 
making sessions feel more like fun competition and less like training. I come in every week for at least 30 minutes. Sometimes I stay longer because there's actually a lot of fun stuff to do around here and just it gets you involved and gets you to do stuff. Before athletes come into the clinic for the first time, the staff recommends them to do a comprehensive eye exam. So that way we can fit them with glasses or contacts, help them see their best, and also to see if they do have any kind of problems with their eye health. After their evaluation is complete, athletes can come into the clinic throughout the course of their playing careers at UIW. For UIW TV, I'm Solida Rosario. The clinic is located in the first floor of the Bar Shop Natatorium. Athletes can come in on a walk-in walk basis, but for other students or faculty interested in checking out the clinic, they can schedule an appointment via email with Dr. Cronin. You know the time, Cardinals. Time to look at all the games in store from our UIW athletic teams. We have a basketball doubleheader at home in the McDermott Center tonight. The women's team gets set to play against Northwestern State at 5.30. The men's team also plays Northwestern State later tonight at 7.30. Softball looks to bounce back in the Cardinal Invitational tomorrow at 3.30 against the University of Nebraska at Omaha. Our Cardinals will be busy this weekend representing UIW at a high level, so make sure to stay up to date with our UIW teams by visiting UIW Athletics website. And that officially does it for our sports rundown today. This has been Soida Rosario. But Joy, I believe we have great responses from, to our social media question from our viewers. Should we check them out? Yes, ma'am, that's right. Zoe, earlier we asked, what are you most excited to see at the rodeo this year? Cameron Leal says the funnel cakes. Frank Flores says the bull riding. And Matthew Villarreal says he loves seeing the performers. Thank you all for those great responses. We love hearing from our viewers. Well, that concludes our first newscast of the spring 2022 semester. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back again on February 24th to bring you another news-packed broadcast. Until then, I'm Abigail Velez. And I'm Joy Bergen. This has been UIW-TV, the word on campus. <laughs>